Reports of wind gusts over 50 miles an hour as a line of storms moves through. These storms moving quickly off to the northeast, about 50 to 60 miles an hour, and the whole line is moving south. Now, uh, any warnings that we have will immediately pop up here, but we have no severe thunderstorm warnings uh, in effect. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch which remains in effect throughout the afternoon because there certainly is a potential for severe storms. Rain going over the same area causing flooding, a flood warning in effect for Lancaster and a flash flood warning in effect uh, up the Poconos. Now here's this line of storms that goes south of Allentown right through Philadelphia and Wilmington. The whole line is moving south. These individual storms moving rapidly off to the northeast about 50 to 60 miles an hour. So the area of concern now is from Philadelphia to the south and east. Certainly the potential is there for any any of these storms to become severe with damaging wind. Uh, right now, there's some heavier rain with this thunderstorm north of Ewing, moving off to the northeast. Right around Philadelphia, center city Philadelphia, portions of Delaware and Montgomery County getting some heavy rain and gusty wind now as that storm moves through a little farther south. We're tracking this area of uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms. It's moving up through portions of Newcastle County and Kent County. That's off to the northeast. So areas south and east of that will have these individual storms form and move rapidly off to the northeast. The potential still there for some heavy rain, gusty wind, and certainly flooding as the rain continues to go over the same area. Here's the line moving slowly to the south and east. Our future weather computer picks up this line and brings this heavy rain across Delaware and New Jersey slowly beginning to move out of the Philadelphia area after 2 to 3 o'clock this afternoon. Last place to see the heavy rain will be Atlantic City and the Jersey Coast between 5 and 6 o'clock. They're also uh, starting to move out of the area, improving conditions uh, across parts of the region, mainly north and west of Philadelphia, where there is no longer a severe thunderstorm watch in effect uh, for the counties here in southeastern Pennsylvania. We are still looking at storms moving through Delaware and New Jersey. Certainly the potential is there for them to be severe uh, with damaging wind. We've had wind gusts over 50 miles an hour reported already with these storms. Here's where they are, uh, lightning and thunderstorms just north of Trenton, a few southeast of Philadelphia, and a few there across Cape May County. Close up view, you see that storm moving north and east away from Trenton. Uh, there's a storm here right just north of Vineland and Millville. That's moving up northeast, so that'll be affecting portions of Burlington County. A little farther south, we have heavier rain in Cape May County there with plenty of lightning near Sea Isle City. That's moving off to the northeast, so moving through Atlantic City. Now, these are not severe storms, but the potential is there for them to uh, increase in intensity and certainly have some damaging wind gusts as they move through the area. The line continues Continues to push south. Things are improving up to the north, but still New Jersey and Delaware is the area of concern now. Future weather computer, 2 o'clock. Here's the heaviest storms. Over the next two to three hours, we'll see them slowly begin to move east. And by 6 o'clock tonight, pretty much all the storms are moving out of the area. Good afternoon, I'm Glenn Schwartz in the Earthwatch Weather Center. We'll return to Ellen in just a minute, but first want to update you on the severe weather. There have been reports of wind damage over the last few hours, but no tornado reports. Right now, the only severe thunderstorm warning is pretty much in effect for Ocean County in New Jersey. As you can see on the radar, that is where the lightning is. Much of the area has already dried out, so we do have some good news there. This storm near Asbury Park starting to move offshore as well. So conditions are improving through the area. We do not expect any more severe weather from the Philadelphia area westward. I'll have the complete update coming on NBC 10 News at 4.